So this idea was put forward by Open Barnix. So we're, we're a Bristol startup company. Um, there's four of us and we work within the realms of robotics. We wanted to make low cost bionic hands and a really good way to do that was 3D, using 3D printing and other 3D technologies like 3D scanning and 3D modeling. So what we did, we met with Grace and 3D scanned her residual limb, so her foreshortened forearm. Um, Grace was born with a foreshortened forearm. So we 3D scan her limb, we, that makes a 3D mesh. Then we just do a little bit of tidying up on that, make a 3D model, 3D print it. So we 3D printed this whole socket um, to fit Grace in just two days it takes on the 3D printer. And then we use a photo of Grace's other hand to 3D print her a proportional sized bionic hand. So this bionic hand is inspired by Grace. It's got loads of Swarovski <laughs> crystals on it and um, fiber optic wires because we wanted to make a bionic hand that wasn't trying to pretend to be a human hand. We wanted to make something that was better, and more, more fashionable, more daring. I've always said that I don't like wearing normal prosthetics because they look like normal hands, they're bulky, they don't do anything. They just make you blend in, and I'm not interested in that at all. I think that differences should be a good thing, and you should make them look cool, and uh, they should reflect your personality. You shouldn't try and look like everyone else. And so this does everything that I wanted to do. Ticks all the boxes. So there's like the peace sign, um, like hold hand, thumbs up, close hand, peace sign. It does like all sorts of things. So it's powered by Grace's um, muscle signals. So here we have EMG sensors on Grace's back. And so Grace is just performing small muscle movements and the sensors are picking up on that electrical activity underneath the skin. And that's how Grace is controlling that. This is the second time that I've actually put it on. And last time I put it on, I literally put it on two minutes before I was showing everyone else. And yeah, it's so, so easy. It's literally just muscles on my shoulder. So we use them every day. Bionic hands can cost anything from like £30,000 to £100,000. They're really super expensive. And so even though it is a very amazing, life-changing technology, only a very few people get to have it. So we want to sell the same functionality in a different form for under £1,000. We want to do user, um, user testing and field testing this summer and then have it on sale within a year. Our very first bionic hand that will enable amputees to pick objects up um, do, do simple everyday tasks easier. In years to come, I would like to have a different arm for every outfit, <laughs> like shoes. That would be, be fab. Um, I mean, it can always be lighter and it can always be improved, but so can everything else. So. But I'm really, yeah, it's exciting. It's really exciting.